Speedrunning is home to tons of interesting categories. While most games have a simple beat the game or collect them all kind of category, communities are wont to come up with off the wall ideas to keep themselves entertained with their favorite games. As long as the rules are well defined and anyone can compete towards the same goal, any kooky category has a chance to be a community smash hit. Kirby Air Ride is a game that hosts three amazing game modes. However, for a racing game, one of the modes is a bit different. City Trial is a game mode where players roam around a city picking up items that fall on the ground. When Masahiro Sakurai developed this game in 2003, he wasn't prepared for the bloodbath that would occur here. Starting in 2018, the speedrunning waters churned endlessly as everyone fought for the crown in this crazy new category. Oh my god, dude, the first hot dog of the day. Wowie wow. Today, we bite into the history of Kirby Air Ride's most infamous speedrun category, 5 Hot Dog Percent. Catch up on the lore, relish in its mystique, and meet the runners. Grab a napkin, it's gonna get messy. Long ago, in a dimly lit room filled with sterilite tables and tube TVs, some GDQ attendees were huddled around a CRT, racing in the most important speedrun of their lives. Notable Kirby Air Ride speedrunner and elite gamer girl, Pear Strike, was walking through the casual room at SGDQ 2017 when he and BBQ Sauce saw this tense battle from across the room. These unknown denizens of the D-Gen world were locked in combat, fighting for supremacy in this race to collect five hot dog stickers in Kirby Air Ride City Trial. Pear Strike and BBQ wouldn't ever learn the names of these combatants or the results of this epic battle, but the impression was made. They knew that they had to bring this blood sport to the masses. Before we get into it, let's go over hot dogs in City Trial. Hot dogs are a food item that heals the player when picked up. Hot dogs can spawn naturally anywhere, but can also drop from blue crates, the star pole, or the volcano caves. Because the run is timed with the in-game timer, runners are allowed to exit game and start a new round without losing time. So, for those of you who don't know, yeah, in City Trial, uh, yeah, you just, uh, just collect five hot dogs and they, they're completely random uh you know it, it's just random where they'll drop so it's just a stupid <laughs> it's just the dumbest speedrun category ever created six months later bbq sauce reminded pear strike that the five hot dog race wasn't just a gd flu fever dream but was in fact reality as 2018 approached coincidentally the zodiac year of the dog pear strike tested his medal in the five hot dog arena on January 1st, 2018, Pear Strike achieved a legendary 8.29 in-game time. Taking the full 7 minutes of the round, plus playing out the drag race event in the stadium, Pear Strike went back in to finish the job. On his first ever day of attempts, Pear Strike solidified his place at the top, declaring himself the Wiener King. The next day, however, he bested himself, obtaining a 7.56 in-game time on January 2nd. Oh my god! I am the hot dog king! Pear Strike saved time by having better luck and remembering to exit the game before the stadium event took place at the very end. Truly. Pear Strike was worthy of his hot dog crown. Word would spread quickly of Pear Strike's feats, and soon, the Speed Sharks came out, smelling world record blood in the water. The day after Pear Strike got his 7.56, God Gamer Piner shows up and tears through the world record with a 5.34. Dog, 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 fuck 
yes, fucking finally, dude, holy fucking shit, god damn, that took like a goddamn fucking year. Piner resets after he raided all the easy hiding spots, like the star pole and the volcano caves, as well as all the blue crates in sight. The frenzy wasn't over though. The day after Piner got his record, runner Glockahara gets five unique hot diggity dogs in 315. Back to back, four days in a row, the world record for this brand new category was shattered repeatedly as more and more people caught wind of this glorious run. It seemed like everyone who'd ever played Kirby Air Ride before was running this category. I don't really understand. I think it was just a meme, but he just kind of started running it, and then like a bunch of people started running it kind of out of nowhere. I'd never touch five hot dogs, sorry guys, but I actually like have respect <laughs> for myself. With the crazy run like Glockahara's though, it was unlikely that anyone would beat the record for a long time. On January 8th, 2018, Piner, the man, the myth, the legend, fires back at Glockahara with a 241. Dog, 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 dude, fucking sub three. Oh, dog. After praying for the godlike RNG, Piner clutches out five hot dogs in one round, not having to reset for the easy pickings. Truly, this was the pinnacle of gaming, showcasing the sheer willpower required to bend the universe into his reality. At last, a time that would be looked up to for eternity. But the Wiener King wasn't going to let the record stay out of his possession forever. A week after Piner's legendary run, Pear Strike, the creator, Lord of the Dogs, first of his name, closes the book on 5 hot dog percent by completing a run in 1 minute and 50 seconds. I'm the Wiener King, guys. I am the Wiener King. Where's Ruby? We're going to Chili's. Now, listen, very proud of this time, okay? This was all, this was the luck route still too. This was an insane run, dude. This was insane. I got like four right off the bat, or, you know, pretty quick within the first uh, minute. I think, or minute and a half. And then I backed out of the game and started a new city trial game. And since we go by in game time, it's cool. That didn't lose me like any time. And then, uh, yeah, a hot dog spawned right in front of me as I got into the game, like figgy. This was it, truly. Wrap it up, folks, we're done here. Or so they thought. Since the beginning, Pear Strike was on the lookout for the perfect run. He was always searching for the Motherlode. Pear Strike knew that the Castle Hall secret chamber was home to many things. This random event would spawn six of the same item, with a small but non-zero chance of spawning hot dogs. In fact, there is a 0.13% chance that any event will be the secret hot dog chamber. Since the first event of the round can spawn as early as 55 seconds or as late as 2 minutes and 5 seconds, the event essentially has to spawn within the first 10 seconds or so to be useful. These factors combined mean that the odds of getting the fast hot dog chamber event is worse than 1 in 10,000. Pear Strike was unsuccessful in getting this elusive event. It would likely take thousands of attempts to get a run with a hot dog chamber. Nobody was going to get that anytime soon. Four days after Pear Strike reclaimed his throne, a new challenger approaches. Silent Hill 3 speedrunner, UFO Techie, tries his hand at five hot dogs. This guy doesn't even know which color crates the hot dogs spawn in. Surely he's no threat to the mighty Pear Strike. Within 30 minutes of doing hot dog attempts, Techie gets the fabled hot dog chamber, spawning in six hot dogs at the one minute and 13 second mark. Within seconds, Techie is all over it collecting the five hot dogs in oh, one fuck. minute and 25 oh, seconds. Shit. The Wiener King was defeated once again. Is that it? Can we like, 
Are we done now? Okay, so he got it at a minute and 30. Or actually, what time did he? He got it at a minute and 25. Uh, so 30 seconds after the soonest time he absolutely could have gotten it. But yeah, so he was just playing it for the first time. Really, he just like was messing around with it. And yeah, he just on his first day of doing runs, he lucked out and got it. Okay, for real this time. This record would stand for a long time. The chances of getting a first event hot dog chamber were astronomical. While new challengers came and went, no one could come close to Techie's run. Pair Strike would move on to other categories in speed games, or maybe Glover or something, I don't know. Finally, the frenzy was over. This, 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 is, this is a space door, I love that. I love space. Pair Strike would occasionally spend a few hours running 5 hot dog percent, and on July 24th, 2018, would finally get a hot dog chamber event. To his dismay, however, the chamber event started at the same time as Techies, and he wouldn't collect the fifth hot dog until 1 minute and 32 seconds, just barely missing the world record. No! The stars aligned, but just a moment too late. From time to time, casual streamers would try their hand at 5 hot dog percent, because it was a serious and very competitive category. In search of glory and prestige, Let's Player and Super Smash Bros. Melee competitor Shannondorf decided to vie for the hot dog crown. So, um, I basically just stream Nintendo games very casually. I just like doing whatever, and Kirby Air Ride happens to be one of my favorite things to stream. It's a very easy thing for me to just like do mindlessly and have fun while also interacting with my chat a ton. And then one of my now friends told me about Five Hot Dog Percent, and I thought it was funny and I wanted to give it a try. Taking the opportunity to stream and chat with her viewers, Shannondorf spent a week doing attempts. She quickly realized that the Castle Hall Chamber event would be the most optimal run possible and grinded out attempts. By sheer dumb luck, Shannondorf was blessed with a 110 hot dog chamber and capitalized on it immediately. Shannondorf walked away that day with a 116 on August 28, 2018. No one really told me the right way to do it, and then I figured out, oh, you probably have to babysit the little um, chamber in Castle Hall and wait until it spawns hot dogs all at the same time. The first time I did it, it I don't think it was that many. I think I might have gotten it within like two streams of me trying to do it, and I usually stream about two to three hours. While the others moved on, Pear Strike consistently came back to grind out more attempts. Not one to give up easily, he accumulated over 2,000 attempts of 5 hot dog percent in 2018. Would his hard work ever pay off? Once I got the no dupes run, I would just uh, do like four hours of hot dog runs like a couple day days a week and, uh, you know, just like turn my mind off and... Yeah, and then at that point it was all just grinding out the, uh, the Castle Hall box and trying to get that luck. It was a run like any other. On January 14th, 2019, wandering aimlessly for about 50 seconds, Pear Strike meanders on back to the Castle Hall. It's just routine for him at this point, like a well-oiled machine. Before he can even reach the hall, the message shows up. The secret chamber in Castle Hall is open. Get some items. Realizing he's late on the arrival, Pear Strike starts freaking out. But with practice precision, Pear Strike gathers up the chamber hot dogs and finishes the run in 1 minute and 12 seconds. I think it's over, dude! Dude, bruh! It's over! Oh my god! Wait, what happened to my game? Oh! Take that, Shannon Dorf! Finally, after a year, the Wiener King has the last laugh. All this air ride, all track stuff I've been talking about, psh, nothing compared to the feeling I got when I, when I collected that fifth hot dog. Silly as the category may be, the speedrunners of 5 hot dog percent took the run very seriously. Watching runners spend hours on runs shows how much they really care about their games. Anyone is welcome to try, 
and the Wiener King welcomes all challengers. But beware, the hot dog champion is prepared to fight tooth and nail for his title. If you aren't careful, you might get gobbled up. <laughs>